Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. Um, my name is Dream and Happy New Year's guys. It is 2024. So I love to make this video at the beginning of each year. It's me sharing my dreams, my intentions, my hopes for the coming year. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy this video, but just let's just get started. So um, I have wrote them down on my phone. Um, these are things that I hope that I can bring and amplify in the new year. The first one, um, I had this, I think, at the beginning of last year, and I did a really good job of, the, of this one. Start each day with a good sweat. Um, but this year, I want to push myself more physically. So upping the weights, upping the different cardio. This year, last year, I incorporated spin, and I absolutely love it. We did redo our garage um, into like a gym, so we got a spin bike and I incorporated that um, for the latter half of last year and I absolutely loved spinning and I just want to push myself more, um, do longer spin sessions, um, increase my weights, all of that good stuff. So in the new year, going to continue to get in that good sweat and just push myself physically. As you get older, something I think when you're younger, you take it for granted, and that is your health. You only have this one body, this one life to live, so let's just take the best care of ourselves that we can. The next one, I want to start each day with a clear mind and an open heart. Um, I want to, want to implement daily devotionals. So I actually picked up this book, which is going to be in my nightstand. So before I even pop out of bed, I'll reach in, grab it. But this is Daily Light for Women. It's a devotional. It was under $15 on Amazon, but you guys know their pricing. Um, I will have it linked down for you below. But each day it has a different message, a different prayer, and um, I'm just super excited to do this. And guys, it's a really beautiful, pretty book. The front is really pretty. It comes in a ton of colors. Um, and the pages are just really beautiful and feminine and all of the things that I really love and enjoy. So I'm so excited to dive into this each day. And just to start each day off with a calm mind, a calm heart, and a little word from God. So, love this. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Another devotional, and I did this one last year, um, but I read it more like a book. I have read Sadie Robinson's Huff, because she's married now, several of her, I think all of her books. But this is a devotional. Um, if you guys are looking for something a little bit different, this one is called Live. Um, it's not, this one is by date, so January 1st, 2nd, each date is outlined in here. Look at that gold vine, but this one is just a general 100 devotionals. That's why I kind of read this one more like a book, but this is another good one if you guys are looking for something to start off your day with a calm mind, a calm heart, and just to make you think. So I love literature that improves me. I think if you're not growing, you you know, things every year we should be growing and bettering ourselves. So I love literature and books like these that help me do that. So starting each day off with a calm mind and a calm heart and reading my daily devotionals. The next one I want to do, I want to, um, and I started this last year, and I want to continue it into 2024, so just implementing a social media rest day. Last year, I did pretty good with this. Saturday was my rest day, and it was a day that I didn't post, and um, I just want to have a day where I'm not scrolling and not posting, just overall in 2024, less scrolling and... Um, just more filling my mind and my heart with more um, inspirational things. So instead of maybe taking my um, this devotional or one of my books with me while you're waiting in line at the doctor's office or something like that, waiting to be called, but just filling myself with more of this and less of um, social media. 
So just implementing that rest day, and I love it. Usually that following Sunday, I'll do a catch up. So my friends on social media aren't missing out on anything, but um, I just like that day. I don't feel obligated to post, and it's just a relaxing day for me to spend with my family. The next one um, is more, you guys know that I am a stay-at-home mom, which I am immensely grateful that I get to stay home and, you know, drive my daughter to her different activities. I'm the one that picks her up every day. I'm the one that drops her off every day, and I'm so happy that I get to be that steady. Um, but as far as you guys know, I do YouTube. And for my YouTube goal, I want to work on just continuing to make content. And I kind of, I started this last year that I am happy to make, that I love, that inspires me. Um, and then just pushing myself a little bit more creatively. I'm not very tech savvy, but just pushing myself with all of the tech aspect, aspects of everything. The next um, thing that I want to bring into 2024 is just continuing to make our home cozy and to add um, memories in our home. So just hosting. Hosting is a lot and I do get hosting anxiety because I am a bit of a, of a perfectionist. But just um, hosting more and making memories in our home with our friends and our family. We did a bit of that in 2023 and I just want to carry it and extend it into 2024. The next thing I want to do is um, bring into 2024, um, me and my husband, we are the foundation of our home. So just getting more back. You guys know in Texas, we don't have any family that lives in Texas, but we used to implement a lot of like date nights in and I want to do that. Um, I am a stay at home mom and my daughter is in school. So maybe having once a month where I go to my husband's work and we have a little lunch date since she is in school. So just kind of, um, you know, prioritizing one on one time with my hubby. So I want to implement that more into the new year. And I know in marriage and in relationships and in life you guys go through seasons so as your kids get older it's usually easier for you guys for couples to spend more time together especially if you do live around family and you have somebody to like watch your child and all of that stuff but this is like our season of life that we are in and I don't want things to pass us by. So the season of life that we are in, we can find those special moments where me and my hubby can um, spend that one-on-one -on -one time. The next one, my last one, not very long at all. I just want to continue to cozy up our home. We have lived here for not quite a year and a half, but almost. Um, we bought a new built home um, in the Dallas, Texas area, a suburb outside of Dallas, Texas. And I just want to continue to cozy up our home, add those little touches that make it us. Um, when you buy a new built home, a lot of times it is very generic. Um, you know, everything's new, spanking new, and you just want to add a little you know, those special touches that really make your home your home. So this year, the areas that I kind of want to work on, I want to cozy up our laundry area. It is very small, but it can be cozy. You can take, it doesn't matter the size of your space. So I want to work on that. And then finally finishing up the one of our guest rooms. And then my oldest is actually in the Navy. So his room is going to be another guest room and kind of like reconfiguring that and um, finishing up that as, you know, uh, making that a little bit more guest room-like as well. So just cozying up those few areas of our home and just making this house more our style and our home. But that is it, guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you liked hearing my dreams and my intentions for the new year. Um, again, I want to wish everybody Happy New Year, and I hope... Um, that you will subscribe, follow, follow along this YouTube journey with me. And if you've been here for a while, thank you so much for being here and watching my videos and supporting me. It means the world to me. But I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye, guys.